So last in the last video, I was comparing the core three protocols, right? So PIM, MLDP, and uh, point to multi point T. So here, obviously, we would also compare in band signaling, but as I said, scale is the problem. Don't use it. If not, less protocol, maybe you can use it. Small environment, fine. Uh, when it comes to scale, still BGP would be, of course, the winner, but uh, PIM, not bad. Like uh, DMVPN, which one EIGIP or BGP, of course, after a couple thousand, nothing can beat BGP. Same thing here. Uh, well, other stuff if would compare in a uh, not the huge scale it is requirement uh, with the other uh, characteristics what we could say proven so many networks runs even today uh, Rosengeri uh, and in the Rosengeri the transport as well as overlay so uh, at the moment we are talking overlay which means customer signaling uh, or service also you can call it many names VPNs you can call it also uh, for that one PIM is used in the uh, that draft Rosen Rosen GRE model very well known okay BGP for that purpose is new compared to PIM uh, for the MVPN purpose those route types etc of course not more than 10 years but compared to PIM uh, we are doing at the moment okay so complex with the ASM we say for the PIM but actually com ASM is also complex for BGP uh, so really ASM is complex you cannot make it simpler ASM remember any source from out case we talked about those rendezvous point and many other stuff uh, so ASM is ASM it's complex so you, you cannot say uh, basically in BGP or some other environments, ASM is simpler. No, it is complex. Uh, but ASM, those customer ASM is translated to the uh, BGP route types when overlay signaling is used. So understanding those nitty gritty details are making complex also ASM in BGP. Uh, in PIM, complex but known. So many engineers when you ask them what is random point they can probably talk a couple hours so uh, so it is not so much documentation maybe uh, enterprise networks usually use it and, uh, it is known uh, many interviews also they ask probably because of that those many reasons yes it is known like ospf more complex than asas uh, from many aspect but it is more again known okay Soft state, hard state, as I told you, when the size of the network grows, it might be a scalability problem, the state information. Soft state mean periodical messages, not the hello message. So those protocol message we are talking about. So hard state with BGP, obviously incremental update. So you don't send the BGP messages, those update messages, especially the, the heaviest messages, right, which you send the old NLRIs, all the prefixes, if it's global routing table, entire global routing table within the BGP update message. So you don't send a periodically, of course, if periodic you are sending soft state. So in BGP, it is not the soft state, obviously. Uh, OSPF, ISA is also soft state. RSVP is also our concern at the moment, those multicast protocols. Uh, so RSVP also soft state, BGP not. So hard state, which means only incremental updates we have. So silent protocol, which means link state protocols, especially routing point of view, link state protocols considered very chatty protocol, noisy protocols. Their flooding is their nightmares for many environment, especially the closed topologies, those fat trees, because very highly connected topologies. Densely meshed, we use this term, right, in multicast. Densely meshed for very highly connected topologies. Okay. Uh, info driven to specific P routers, info driven to all P routers, 
So with PIM, you can send the information just to specific routers. Uh, you don't have to have the full mesh. But with BGP, you need other than if you are not using route reflection. Underlay core 3, whatever it is. So core 3, even if it is data MDT or partitioned MDT, overlay full mesh. BGP adjacencies to all P router, PIM adjacencies to all P routers, BGP adjacencies to all P routers, but likely only to the route reflector. So adjacencies in the actually VRF context, it, it is full mesh uh, with the PIM. With the BGP, it's also full mesh in IBGP environment, but if you are using route reflection, uh, of course not. I was just thinking also what about confederation. So uh, I don't see any problem. So in real life, I don't remember if I've seen that. So if you would use confederation, you would have different autonomous systems, as you know, sub AS numbers are different, EVGP there. So in that case, MVPN end to end would be supported as well. So again, scalability solution, the configuration is scalability and the solution. Uh, yeah. Can PIM scale? Yes, of course. Compared to in-band signaling, maybe better. But compared to BGP, no one needs. So uh, not only for the service, also, when we use, let's say, BGP for the transport purpose, like RSC 3107 for many applications, we, we can see that seamless MPL, unified MPL, CSC, interface options, blah, blah, blah. So when we use BGP as a transport also, again, scale, because it can scale the most, we are using BGP there. So BGP is a signaling for, okay, auto-discovery purpose, maybe one of uh, aspect so it would reduce the configuration complexity obviously also another purpose is very large scale uh, otherwise i would say probably bgp more complex uh, less known because more complex less known uh, otherwise when people understand something very well uh, for them the complexity reduces really huh. but as i told you understanding is something but also protocol interaction many times I mentioned is another thing, another contributor to the complexity. So BGP works with many other protocol at the same time in the network. So now you are pushing multicast as well and probably you are using for many other purpose. Unicast is one of them, but many other as well maybe. So then be careful. Whatever the other stuff creates a problem, it will be affecting your multicast solution as well. Can you give me an example? Of course, BGP flow spec, it created many problems in real life. You can Google it, you will find, for example, my article also you can find, uh, Century Link BGP flow spec problem. So because of that, when the network has an issue, your not only unique services or some uh, part of the customer space, but multicast people might see the problem as well. So BGP based problem uh, will affect mini NLRIs. Don't forget that if you are using also BGP, so BGP and PIM, if you would separate, I mean, BGP for unicast purpose, maybe PIM multicast purpose. Okay, I mean, this is also this we need to discuss maybe. Uh, in that case, okay, more protocol to deal with, increases OPEX, operational people might be suffering. And, but yes, uh, but it can also, it is separating the faith sharing. So different domains, so the fate of the protocols are not the same, which means if there is a problem with PIM, which we will not be affected. If there is a problem with BGP process, PIM will not be affected. These are all different concerns. Fate sharing or uh, OPEX, operational expenses by running multiple pro multiple protocols in the network, etc. guys. So I think that was it for only these comparison charts. Now we will continue with the other multi topics.